Again, eat, sleep, repeat. When she wakes up, take her straight back out. See, we've tried before. If she toilets in the house, unless you catch her in the act, you can't do anything about no. it. No. So you just have to clean it up nicely. But removing, remove the puppy pads, because right now she thinks she can wee on any of the puppy pads. Yeah. And right now you had a puppy pad in the corner of your house, you had a puppy pad on your kitchen floor. Yeah. Advice on toilet training with puppies. Crate train them. Okay. Most people can have a have their dog toilet trained like by the time it's six months old. Yeah. When I get called to houses and the dog's still pissing in the house and it's like 12 years to 18 months, yeah. it's, not, it's not being crate trained. No. I've lost it. <laughs> but what you do with puppies, right? This is what you do with puppies. You play with puppies, yeah? You tire yeah. puppies out. Then you put puppy in the crate so puppy can sleep. Because okay. puppies are like newborn babies. So they need, need like, to get a routine going. Yes. Okay. Routine will help with everything. It will yeah. help with the toilet in, it'll help with her behaviour. It'll give the older dogs in the house a break as well. Yeah. Puppies are meant to sleep. When I go to houses and the dog doesn't know how to switch off, that dog has very rarely been crate trained or that dog has never been taught how to switch off. Yeah. It's our job to teach the dogs limitations. So we play with a dog, nice 10, 15 minute sessions. We really knacker this little dog out. Then all the dog wants to do is sleep. But if the dog doesn't have a crate to go into or doesn't know how to then go and switch off it's our job to show yeah. him so we pop him in the crate let him sleep when the dog wakes up then we take him straight into the garden and we let the dog wee and when the dog wee we make a huge fuss of the dog yeah then we do another little session with the dog we do some the teaching we do some playing no, but it's necessary, yeah. right? Do you think that crate's too big that for crate, Dolly? Yes, the crate, that crate you've got is too big for all of them. Okay. Unless they're all going in here at the same time, then it's all right. Yeah, no. But so the puppy crate needs a crate by itself. Puppies, because right. again, if you put the puppy in the crate with the others, it's going to annoy them. Yeah. It won't, it'll, it'll be counteractive. So look, play I with the Dolly dog. might like the crate, actually, yeah. because she, she likes to go so This is the best advice I can give anyone for toilet training, right? Puppy goes in the crate. When the puppy's tired, play it, then puppy comes out, take it straight to the toilet, make a big fuss of it for toileting. Right? Then you do little training sessions with the dog, little play sessions, little training sessions. I'm sure you'll love to do that, kids. Yeah. 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 Right. Just yeah. And then she gets tired because you're mentally stimulating and physically stimulating the dog. And then you pop her back in the crate because yeah. she wants to sleep but doesn't know how to switch off. Yeah. Then again, eat, sleep, repeat. When she wakes up, take her straight back out. See, we've tried before. If she toilets in the house, unless you catch her in the act, you can't do anything about no. it. No. So you just have to clean it up nicely. But removing, remove the puppy pads, because right now she thinks she can wee on any of the puppy pads. Yeah. And right now you had a puppy pad in the corner of your house, you had a puppy pad on your kitchen floor. Yeah. Advice on toilet training with puppies. Crate train them. Okay. Most people can have a have their dog toilet trained like by the time it's six months old. Yeah. When I get called to houses and the dog's still pissing in the house and it's like 12 years to 18 months, yeah. it's, not, it's not been crate trained. No. And, okay, I, so can... and all these people that think crate trains, crates are cruel are looking at it from a human standpoint. Yeah. They're looking at it as what's best for the human. Oh, look at my baby in a cage. Yeah. They're not looking at what's best for the dog. It's no. what's best for the dog. It's not what's best for you. It's what's best for the dog. Yeah. You might not like the crate, but the dog, if you do it pro nice. That was awesome. <laughs> Check you out with your little finger click. <laughs> See, you have it in you. Yeah. I think communicate the with the dog what you don't like, and when yeah. the dog's doing something you do like, then really reinforce it. But just be careful with your affection. You're giving far too much affection to the dogs at the wrong time. Okay. And it is creating a problem. And if you notice, if you do it properly, no. the dogs chill out. So for this, you can just you can just wait. Shaking off, that's a good thing. Give her a bit of a fuss there. 
Because again, that whole body shake is a calming signal. Okay. It's a stress relieving signal yeah. as well. So for instance, right, stop now. See the ears, the ears have gone up, so she's alert. Scratching. Just because she's got an itch, there's nothing, that, that's just a, there's no special sign behind that other than she's got an itch. Okay. <laughs> She's not paying much attention to her. No, because again, when she does pay attention to her, we're letting her know, look, chill out. Yeah. It's not your job to worry about what that dog's yeah. doing. Your job is to worry about what that dog's doing. Yes. Her yeah. job is just to be a dog and just chill out and do what you guys want her to do. Yeah. And when the puppy, like when they're all running about, so, or if Peaches and Skylar come downstairs or whatever and the puppy's on them, then we tell the puppy to move and yeah. leave them alone. But, I mean, let them have little play sessions. But, again, if one of them turns around and snaps at the puppy, that's not aggression. That's just a, that's just a no, discipline in the puppy. That's, that, 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 that's very normal. Okay, so what was worrying me the most was... So I, I, oh. On the edge of the sea, Peaches and Skylar just intently watching her and growling at her every move. But they have calmed that down now. Yeah, but, again, you need to you need to be the one to stop that. Say, so look... But if the pup's not doing anything and they're going, yeah, which stop, like, shut up. What I mean, fair doing? enough, it leaps up and bites their face. I get that they're yeah, going to growl at yeah, that, course. that's fine. Yeah. But when she's not doing but anything. But then what you need to do is you need to not focus on these because you focus on the ones that are great. You need to focus on the dog yeah, jumping what up. Happens, the they then growl both. and we go, no, don't growl yeah, at the puppy. But no, not. the puppy's jumping up. Yeah. All right? It's, it's slightly really different. Well. What, what we've done earlier, the puppy jumped up, your dog didn't care. The no. one over there, they are licking its paw, didn't care. When, when she, but when the puppy come close, because the puppy's coming over towards you, that's when she started to care. Yeah, Big no, difference. You yeah. don't correct the puppy for that, you correct her for that, yeah. because she's being possessive. Okay. If the puppy's jumping up, biting her face, and she's growling, you correct the puppy, because the yeah. pup... It's about give and take, yeah. all right? So if, if she's acting possessive, correct her. Okay. So if the, if the puppy jumps up here, next to me, where this snake is, and she starts growling, correct her. Stop being yeah. stupid. Yeah, just all right? her. But if the puppy starts jumping up, like badgering her, and she starts growling, correct the pup. Okay. Yeah? The time and the place. So, 